What's going on guys? I've got a 2003 Chevy S10 and I'm gonna use it to try to help you out checking a few fuses and relays for uh, if you're not able to get it started. I'm gonna point out to you what may or may not be important as far as uh, getting a trouble shot. So let's make our way under the hood. There's a fuse box here you can open just by unscrewing that and pulling straight up. Now, first important fuse for you to check is gonna be this 20 amp fuse right there. That is the ignition C fuse. And if that fuse is working, it will actually provide power to the ignition switch inside the car. And uh, by the way, you check these fuses by just pulling them straight out. As you can see, this one is intact. You see it's unbroken there. So this provides power to the ignition switch. And when you turn the ignition switch to the start position, if it is working, then it will actually pass power to this 10 amp fuse right there. So uh, one troubleshooting step you can do, have someone hold the key in the start position and see if you can measure power here. If you do, then you know that the switch is working. If you do not see power here, then you know that either the switch or the wiring is bad. Now, when there's power present there from you turning the switch to the start position, the power will go to one of two places. If it's a manual, it will go to the pedal position sensor on the clutch. If it's an automatic, it will go through the um, the neutral safety switch. Now this is a manual. So I'll point out to you real quick where that switch is for the pedal. And the intent of this switch is to prevent you from starting the car without pushing on the clutch. And so the switch is actually right up here by the firewall. So that's it right there. And if you want to, you can actually bypass that. You can bypass that with a paper clip. Just um, connect connect the two wires going to it together with a paper clip or something like that. And uh, just keep in mind that with that safety feature disabled, it will be able to you will be able to start the car when it's in gear and it will surge forward or backward. Now, assuming that that switch is okay, the power will go from here through one of the two switches and to the starter relay, which is this right here. Now, if your starter relay you can try wrapping on it to see if it's stuck while someone's holding the car in the start position, or you can swap it with one of these other relays as a troubleshooting step. This is gonna be your headlamp power relay. That is your, uh, your rear defog relay. Now, if your starter relay is functional, it will pass power to the starter solenoid on the starter itself, and it uses this 40 amp fuse right here for that. So that's another fuse for you to check. Now as a bonus, um, we've talked a lot about starting. Um, now let's say your engine is turning over, it's not firing up. You may have a fuel pump issue. Um, I'll point out to you your fuel pump relay. It's gonna be this one right here. That's your fuel pump relay. And this 20 amp fuse next to it, that's for the ECM. And it's also for the uh, fuel pump. It's called the ECMB relay. So check that and that for your uh, fuel pump there. If you wanna swap this, a great one to swap with would be that. That's your horn relay. That's a good troubleshooting step there. So yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you guys have any questions or any advice or anything like that. And uh, hope you're able to get your truck started.